In this video, we look at the Markdown Editor in Document 360. Document 360 provides two types of editors, the Markdown Editor and a What You See Is What You Get Editor. We recommend the Markdown Editor because it provides efficient and structured writing while keeping colors and styles in check, thus delivering a clean look with good readability. Most modern knowledge bases are simple to navigate and provide a consistent look and feel. So let's take a closer look at the Markdown Editor. The Markdown Editor panel is divided into two sections. On the left is the actual Markdown Editor area. On the right is a preview area providing real-time feedback as you build your documentation. This can be very helpful to visualize the final appearance of the document without needing to save and publish each time you want to see your article. The divider can resize either panel, giving you more space to work with. You can also click on one of the arrows to fill the entire area with any of the panels and go back when you wish. Knowing the markdown syntax can really speed up your workflow. Formatting can be quick and efficient once you get the hang of it. Editing becomes really easy and working with just your keyboard can be rewarding. Since all text-based, you can copy and paste lines for quick edits and iterations. Building lists, creating tables, adding notes, callouts, and links can be done quickly. If you forget a syntax or if you are new to Markdown, Document360 provides a couple of tools to help you out. One way is by clicking the Markdown shortcut at the bottom of the page. This gives a quick peek into some of the most commonly used syntaxes. The other method is to use the toolbar on top of the editor to format the document to your needs. Say for example you wanted to make this a numbered list. Just highlight the text and click on the ordered list button. It's that simple. Speaking of the toolbar, there are a number of actions you can take to get your document looking the way you want. You may want to insert an image or video. Or change the color of a callout. You can even bring in code blocks into your article for users to copy. Keep in mind that there may be several different ways to perform the same action within Document 360. For example, instead of using the toolbar, you can simply drag and drop files directly into the editor. Once you get comfortable with the Markdown editor, building your documentation will become a breeze. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out more videos in the tutorial section.